Hey friends, welcome back and welcome if you're new. This morning, I am just having one of those cozy days. It's just gloomy and rainy and overcast and all of the cozy fall vibes are happening in this space this morning, which of course makes my heart happy, <laughs> but it's also sparked a little creativity and just a nudge to continue to decorate for the season. I really like to let the outdoors guide me as I change up things in my home and I haven't really decorated my dining room space for fall yet. So today that's what we're going to do. I have a couple of ideas that I'm excited about, but really just like my other spaces in my home, we're going to keep it simple, natural, and just bring a few festive touches to the room. So if you're excited to come along with me today, we can decorate together. Um, be sure to grab yourself a hot cup of coffee or a cozy drink of some kind and let's get decorating. So don't mind the lighting. Like I said, it's really dark and just cozy, gloomy today. Um, but I wanted to just give you a little overview of what the dining room is looking like. Just kind of bare bones with pieces that I'm gonna keep for the fall. Um, I have this accordion peg rack that I love to um, just add things to. I found that little hat at a thrift shop, um, I think for my summer decorate with me. And I think I'm gonna keep it up for now. I like that and I don't really have anything I can swap out. So that's gonna stay the same. I have these beautiful vintage inspired bird prints that I think just add a lot of contrast to this wall space against that shiplap. So we're keeping that up. Um, I am gonna make a wreath for this door and add maybe some pumpkins and different things to the ground. <laughs> um, this little bench, I, I toy around with having it here, not having it here. And I think I'm just gonna keep it here for now. Something about it, I just like it against that window. I think because this almost serves, nobody comes through this door ever, <laughs> but this is an entrance off of our front porch. And so I like it to feel kind of like a sweet entryway, if you will. But I have this table. I think I got it from Wayfair. I love this table. It was a little pricier, but it's solid wood and it's, it's just so beautiful. I think against the floors and I'm gonna keep it here in the corner because I think I'm gonna add a lamp back to this space with it being dark and, and gloomy. It's so nice to have just cozy ambient lighting. So we're gonna do that. And then the table is still bare. We'll add something. And then we've got the hutch here, which brings are a variety of ironstone dishes and just different thrifted dishes that I have up there, but we'll probably change it up, add a little bit of color, a little tiny touch of fall to the space. So that is how that's looking. So I'm also thinking, wait, hold on. I was also thinking, <laughs> sorry, I might add something to the top of the hutch for this season. I feel like there's enough space between the top of the hutch and the ceiling that we could do something and it would add a lot of height and maybe some drama and just really take your eye upward to this room. So we're gonna play around with that. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of how everything is looking before we get started. Everything's clean and feels good in here. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna start with the little table here in the corner, and I wanna add three things to this table because I like to decorate in odd numbers. So I'm starting with the lamp, and I chose a buffet style lamp, so it's a little bit taller, which gives me more room to um, add a floral arrangement or just add a few more things to the table. It's a nice, narrow, tall lamp, so I think that's gonna work nicely and again just add some cozy lighting to the space. I picked this one up at Home Goods, gosh, probably two or three years ago now at this point. But Home Goods, TJ Maxx, some of those kind of stores are my favorite for affordable lamps. And because the lamp is taller, I wanted to use a vessel that was a little bit shorter, maybe shorter and fatter, <laughs> um, for a floral arrangement on the table. I have this scalloped terracotta pot. 
I got this at a local plant shop. I'm gonna try to find something similar or the exact one if I can and link it for you guys. It is so sweet. I love it and I love aged terracotta. I think it's beautiful any time of year. And then as far as what I'm putting in the terracotta pot, I have some more dried hydrangeas. You can see here with the pretty greens, yellows, pinks. I've got a handful of those, but just to, I don't know, change it up and add some more texture, I took some branches um, a while back um, off of our property and took all the leaves off and just dried them out. And I have a handful of them and I think I'm gonna stick them in with the hydrangeas just to, I don't know, change things up, see if it works, it might look bad. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to play around with it. And then for my third decor element on the accent table, I'm just going to do a candle. And I love Antique Candle Company. This is not sponsored. Sponsor me if you're watching this Antique Candle Company. I just love their fragrances. Their soy candles, cotton wicks, clean burning. <sighs> they smell so good this is the pumpkin spice latte um, I also have their pumpkin bread that one is really really good this year the fall harvest the autumn woods they're all great I will link some of my favorites down in the description below but um, yeah so those are my three elements we're gonna decorate the table with so let's get to it So I'm loving how this little table turned out and now I wanted to show you guys this wreath that I made and I wish I would have filmed it. I did it last night um, just kind of on a whim but I started with a plain grapevine wreath. I'm losing leaves, I have to be careful. Uh, that's all I did, just a grapevine wreath and stuck some branches in and yeah, I think it's a really pretty um, way to bring the outdoors in. I get questions every time I post something like this about bugs and sprays and I just shake the branches really hard <laughs> before I bring them inside and that usually gets rid of all the critters but um, I find that you know other than that a day or two in I might find one little spider here and there um, but that doesn't really bother me. Now, if you wanna spray for bugs, you probably could. I'm not sure how that would affect the leaves. Another thing you could do would be to maybe use like hairspray or something that would keep the leaves in place from falling. Um, I'm not really an expert on that because I don't, I don't do anything. I just let it dry out naturally and I shake them really good before I bring them in. And that seems to work for me. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, this corner is done for now kind of thing. <laughs> we'll see if I keep playing with it. Um, but love the addition of the grapevine wreath with the branches. I think it is so pretty, adds a lot of movement and color to this corner. It's really hard to, to do it justice on camera, um, but it's so pretty, I love that. And then I have this antique plant stand. I got it a couple of years ago and I use that to just kind of raise up a little pumpkin stack. I love the sage green sort of aqua colored pumpkins from the farm. I think they are so pretty. They're my favorite this time of year. Um, they really speak to me, but just a simple pumpkin stack by the door, the wreath. And then the only other thing I added to this corner is my hunter boots. And I do that year round, but I think it looks really sweet, kind of a reminder of the rainy mornings in the fall like we're having today. So I think this turned out really cute so far. I have had this pillow for a long time now, but it's just from Home Goods. Um, I love the fringe and the cream and taupe stripe. I think is really pretty year round. I love to find pillows and textures and textiles that are neutral and work through the season so I don't have to change them out all the time. Um, I love the lumbar style of this one and I think this will be a pretty addition to my bench here behind me in the dining space. Alrighty, so um, if you've seen any of my previous fall living room videos, you know I have an armoire and a big antique laundry basket on top of that armoire that I like to add florals to for the different seasons, which I already did for fall. And I got to thinking, I love that so much. It's so simple, but it adds just a statement to that furniture piece. And I thought, you know what? Let's try that with the hutch because I've never done that before and I may not like it, but I might love it. <laughs> so we'll see. I just feel like something needs to go on top of the hutch every once in a while just to change things up. So we're going to try it. I have a smaller laundry basket, antique basket. I have it right here. It's a little bit warmer in tone, but it's still really beautiful. It has these handles. I love it. These are some of my favorite pieces to pick up at the thrift store um, for really inexpensive. You can do so much with them. I actually use them for laundry, of course. Um, you can fill it with quilts and have it sitting on the floor of your bedroom or your living room. You can fill it with florals like I am today, toy storage, um, just a tote to carry around the house for random odds and ends that you need to take upstairs. They're great. And they're so much more affordable than anything you can find new, so. Just a little food for thought there. Um, as far as what I'm gonna fill them with, these are from a floral. I'll link them down below for you guys if you're interested. But they're these really beautiful frosted berry stems and again, this kind of sage green color. And I love how realistic they look. They look very natural and they pair nicely with all of my real stems that I have in the house. So we're gonna try this out and see if it looks good on the hutch. Okay, so I actually really love the basket in here. You'll have to wait to the end and just kind of see how it all comes together. Um, but if you recall from my fall kitchen video, if you haven't watched that, go watch it after this. Um, if you recall, if not, it's okay. <laughs> I had this hand carved, beautiful antique dough bowl and I had it sitting on the peninsula and it looked perfect there. I loved the look of it and I filled it with an assortment of fruits and things. Um, but I found after that video, after I decorated throughout the week, we just had to move it too often and it's a pretty big bulky piece and it just kind of feels inconvenient. I'd rather just keep the peninsula minimal and not have to worry about moving it and put this somewhere like the hutch where I never have to move it. So we're gonna try it on the hutch and it just so happened my farmer's market pickup 
Um, we have a virtual farmer's market near us where you can order from all the local farms and then you pick it all up on Tuesday nights. And I picked mine up last night and I made sure to order from the apple farm. So I have lots of farm fresh apples because they just look so pretty sitting out and they feel like fall. So we're gonna add this to the hutch and add the apples and see how it looks. And then one more thing before I forget, I was in Goodwill just the other day. I like to pop in there from time to time and see if I can't find anything. And I found this really beautiful soup terrain. Um, it's kind of dusty. I need to wash it really quick. The price tag is still on it. I think I paid $4.99 for it, but um, it's so pretty. And I think I'm going to add this to the hutch too. friends, I hope you had fun coming along with me today as I decorated my dining space for fall and the upcoming autumn season. Um, if you did like today's video, do me a favor and give it a big thumbs up or maybe share it with a friend or a loved one. That helps me out more than you know. And more than anything, I hope today's video was a gentle encouragement to you that you can make any space beautiful on any budget and less is often more in life and decor. So I'll see you guys really soon and I'll talk to you later. Bye.